Todd Kelly behind Murph. Well, a few people will have noticed that uh, Traddy led Stephen Richards through easily through turn one, but thereafter the cork went straight in the bottle. <laughs> Look at this. This will be well. frust frustrating. Uh, Cameron McConville, he's behind the car. Well, the team represented he drove last year. Well, now Cameron's holding them up. He's absolutely under threat from Greg Murphy. And right behind Murph, Todd Kelly. Going to be aggravation here, any tick. Look now. at the uh, double-ended bumper job that there it Todd, is. Todd Kelly's getting here. I'm not sure if they touched there, but Cameron went onto the ripple strip and that tilted the car, of course. So they're touching, they're touching this side to side on the way to eight. Kelly gets past Cameron McConville. Now there's a big gap here. Will they get through there two abreast? Well, yeah, no, no they oh, won't. No. There's chaos. There's chaos. Well, this is and a I bad didn't one. think you could possibly get two cars through there. This stuff's insane. It was Dumbrell trying to get past Cameron McConville. We're not sure if that triggered it. Colin Bond sweeps across the stewards' room. This uh, will be, of course. Car, you could see car, that coming from a lap back. I said to you guys. Yep. They are past 75% race distance, keep in mind, guys. So they can stop the race here if they want. And Stephen Johnson, of course, caught up in that. He is finally out of the race, one would suspect, after carrying on with a very battered car. We, we have seen with Junior. We've seen some absolutely ridiculous moves through Fire turn. Over, guys. The territory they were fighting yeah, over. That was all because I the field was artificially water. grouped when it shouldn't have been. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, uh, the bottleneck uh, from the lap car definitely bunched the guys up more than normal. And uh, everyone gets a bit racy, not long to go in the event, and uh, everyone's pretty buggered. Brad Jones tied up there. Sorry, Garth. And, uh, of course, Cameron, your teammate. Now, further up the track, is that like, uh, is that uh, Jason or uh, Mark? It's Mark Witterbottom further up the track. Well, look at this unfold here. We've got to look at this from a few angles. It's Dumbrell here trying to make a pass on Cameron McConville and this in the sweeper. Just touched him. Just enough to turn him around. And look, look at what happened. Damage. It was barely a touch. It looked like they didn't touch Well, it. 220 k's. You doesn't can take imagine. Much. No, it doesn't take much. And the cars are fairly unloaded there. Just enough of a touch. Look at that. Yeah. Push the tail out. Cam trying to gather the car up, but and by that stage, a victor. So Jones and Stephen Johnson, nowhere to go. Huge damage. McConville just fought and fought and fought to try and hold that car. Then it eventually came around on him. And bang, T-bone twice in the driver's side. Absolute and chaos. Look at Bernard weave through here. Car's backing out towards him. Yes, just around the chaos. So he's managed to avoid it. Under yellow, we're down in the pits with Gary Rogers, I believe. What a difficult opening round to the championship this has been for your blokes. Shocker, Greg. But, uh, you know, I mean, what can you do? It's, uh, I mean, gas crash this morning we thought it was bad enough, but now we've got another one and a week to fix them, but you just got to press on. You watched the big screen, you, you saw it seemed like minimal contact, but I guess two into turn eight just does not go, does it? No, well, particularly at that speed, you've only just got to get a little bit of a tap and the car loses its balance, which clearly you could see what happened. And, uh, you know, but... It's, it's, uh, it's a tough day for the team, but hey, we press on. Thanks, Gary. Thanks. Well, after this trail of carnage, and Brad Jones again, well, he's had some rough times here, hasn't he? At least he wasn't upside down this time. But Marcus Ambrose will be just in front of Stephen Richards when they eventually resume. Or, as you pointed out, gentlemen, we may have a premature race finish. I don't know. Have we passed the 75%? Yeah, we Certainly have. Yes, are. so well and truly. We'll keep an eye on that scenario as well. Look at this. Everyone's all bottled up. They've got steam coming out of their ears. Dumbrell. It's because uh, Cam and Todd were getting side to side, so McConville lost pace that gave Dumbrell the incentive to come down the inside. But you've got to go back a step to understand why all the cars were together in the first place. Gee, scary moment for Cam there, because that was the driver's side that those two cars were collecting as they followed through. They had no choice, of course, but... Watch this as he turns sideways, and you can see Steve Johnson there and Bradley Jones both collecting that driver's side. You just don't want to be in the middle of that. Incidentally, 75% uh, is 59 laps. 